Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here the brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. They're going to go out today to see if things came out today, see if things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, it's kind of funny. Uh, last Tuesday, a lot of the releases that were out today were already out. And, and one of the releases was actually out on Friday and I didn't even realize that. So John Wick Chapter 4, that actually released last Friday. It was one of those rare ones uh, you know, for like things that come out on Friday, like very seldom does that happen. Like, I remember back in the day, I think like Shrek came out on a Friday and like leave in the comments below though, any other titles you remember coming out on Fridays, but like every so often stuff comes out on Fridays. And then the main big release that was coming out today, there was the Super Mario Brothers movie, but everywhere, like literally everywhere put that out last Tuesday. There was some kind of a weird mistake with that. And I saw it out like at the market, it was out at Walmart. Like I actually thought it was out last Tuesday. I didn't even realize that but technically that's the main big release today the other release today is the Pope's Exorcist so honestly we kind of saw a lot of the releases last Tuesday but we'll see some of the new stuff today though because there are a couple other uh, smaller releases today uh, as well also though at the end of this video is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD Blu-ray and 4k reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys so definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video as well but anyway though, guys let's get going and see what we can find today into Target we go. I'm actually going to a different one today uh, since I was at Amazon returning something. So we'll see if this one has the stuff out in the shelves. Fingers crossed. Well, in here today, though, I see the spots for John Wick, and that was actually out, like I said, on Friday, but I don't actually see any of the, um, anything else today, because like I said, like Mario Brothers was actually out, um, they all put it out last Tuesday, all the locations, so anything actually new today, though, I think The Man from Toronto, that was one of the other things that came out today, but I don't see any of that one. I'm interested in seeing that one, though. If you guys have seen The Man from Toronto, let me know how that was. I, I believe it was a Netflix exclusive one. Other than that, though, I don't see anything else here. I probably will go to the other uh, Target as well, though. So we'll see if that one has anything out. But I doubt it, though, because that one never does. But we shall see, though. We shall see. Into the second Target we go. Where I always check right at the front, you know, in this location, even though it's no longer movies. At least so that I can get a little bit of, you know, video in here. But we'll head over to this section. We'll see, though. I don't really know if there's going to be much of anything, you know, over there. Because, like I said, Mario was was put out most places last Tuesday. And I actually think this location might have had it out last Tuesday as, like, a weird surprise random thing. Because this, this particular Target, like, very rarely has the new stuff out. But we shall see. Uh, fingers crossed. We'll see if there's anything else different over there today as well, too. Well, in here today, though, they actually have everything out. And they have this John Wick in here, too. I think it's an exclusive to Target that has this cover on it. I believe it's a Target exclusive for that one. And they also do have the Man from Toronto here for $22.99. The Pope's Exorcist for $22.99 as well. Also, Sweetwater released today for $22.99 as well. Into Walmart we go. Listen to this. This is like talking in here. Sounds like it's from like the um, Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, you never hear like cheap talking like that anymore in Walmart. It's like real cheap and like a bad microphone and stuff like that. It's like, oof. But let's see over here though, if there's anything else different over here today. So I do see the Pope's Exorcist here today though. And then, like I said, though, these John Wicks actually came out on Friday, and it looks like they have an exclusive steelbook. So I didn't actually know they have a John Wick steelbook, but I don't see any spots for that one anywhere. So that one probably ended up selling out. I do see the uh, Man from Toronto. I see the, um, the DVD of that one. So I'm not sure if they're going to have the Blu-ray or not. But like I said, if you guys have seen that one, let me know how that movie was and if that one's worth seeing. Other than that, over here, though, I don't see anything else new here. Here seems to be all the same stuff, even though technically, like I said, the um, Mario was today. So let's check over here too and see if there's anything else mixed in here. So Perfect Addiction, Bite the Dust, I, those ones might, yeah, I think Southern Gospel and Bone Cold, those are some new ones. It doesn't look like they put them out yet, but and, oh yeah, and then this one, Island of Dolls and Fear the Invisible Man, I believe those ones all released today. And then, was there something else I saw in here that was 
newer I, I feel like i saw something a second ago that was like a newer one. Oh yeah this one the um this bruce willis one assassin that might have been last tuesday i'm not sure though i am going to head to the other walmart and hopefully that one will have out the new stuff so i can see some of these other ones lately they haven't been having everything out in the shelves so we shall see though fingers crossed hopefully they'll have out some of these other new ones though but like i said we shall see though into the second Walmart we go. And I did notice in here they have like a little standee. It's like kind of like a funny standee. There's nothing like that says John Wick or anything like that on it. It's just like a thing that has John Wick in it. But they have a little standee here for it. It looks like it's funny. It's all. Oh, no. So it's the, the it's weird. The DVDs are 1996 and the Blu-rays are 1996. So it's the same price for the DVDs or Blu-rays for that one. But we're going to head back here and see and hopefully you know fingers crossed they have some stuff out but this particular location has not been great on stocking the new stuff it's been for some reason it's like an ever going thing so we'll see what's here today if anything was changed i do see this donnie yen movie that came out today so i believe this is a new one and that one's 14.96 for the blu-ray uh, 12.96 for the dvd other than that, though, you see it's very, very picked over right here. Uh, and then, like, over here, you know, you can see, like, there's spots for stuff. and that, But it's still, like, all picked over and not put out. So, it's yeah, it's like nothing changed. So, it's a major pain. This one, nothing changed out on here. Like I said, I don't know what's happened. It's like, for some reason, I guess the guy that used to do a really good job or something at this one has quit or something and then they haven't like got somebody back that's like doing it right so it's like oh what a major pain in the arse but you know as as they say it is what it is but yeah nothing really else different today i have found though you always have to check over here too because sometimes they mix in random things see like exactly like i said sweet water that was one of the things that came out today like why in the hell would that be on this thing you know what i mean like this is the total wrong spot for this and then like quantum leap season one i see here as well i know that's a newer thing too and then that was mixed in over here so yeah you gotta really check because like it's almost like they don't know where to put things and then they just like sort of shove them over here it's like it's weird yeah, it, this is the most sporadic, weird thing. So I think that might be going on too. So if you have this kind of shelf near yours too, I guess check these because you never know. They might accidentally or just randomly just put the stuff on those spots as well. Into Best Buy we go. So we're going to take a look over here. And I do see the Insidious uh, Steelbook here, the 4K Steelbook. That one's uh, $30.99 for that one. And then the Pope's Exorcist here is uh, $23.99 for that one. And then Super Mario Brothers, those are all gone. See, I don't know if they, I think they had them out last Tuesday, so they probably already sold last Tuesday. Like I said, I don't know how that mix-up happened. It was so weird. And then uh, John Wick here, it's twenty one ninety nine for the four uh, for the Blu ray, twenty seven ninety nine for the stand, standard four K, and then they're sold out of the Steelbook uh, for that one. And then other than that, I don't see anything else new here. And then over here, uh, Wonder that was out last Tuesday, and then Thelma and Louise was last Tuesday. I see a couple things new though. Let's see, nothing new here. All this stuff seems to be the same. But I did see over here uh, Sweetwater. That one and that one that is $24.99 for the Blu-ray of that one. And then the uh, Man from Toronto is $24.99. And I think these, I don't know if these 4Ks are like available now separate for Indiana Jones. They may be new, these ones. Other than that though, I don't see anything else new mixed in here though as far as I can tell. So anyway though guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Let me know though in the comments below though what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K if you guys ended up picking up anything uh, new today. Also know, uh, let me know anything new that you guys have seen in theaters, uh, if you guys went to see anything recently or anything that you guys have watched on streaming. I did see the brand new uh, Transformers film. I think it was Rise of the Beast, I believe. I will say though, I have not seen every Transformers movie, you know, in theaters or anything like that. I think I just started watching them with Bumblebee. And then like I've sort of like since that, have then watched all of, all of them since then. 
But no, this one I actually really liked. It took place in 94, and I thought they did a really good job too, making it seem very 90s. I mean, it kind of like as the movie went along, the 90s aspect kind of, it, it, it wasn't as much to, to show to make it as much 90s later on in the film, but in the very, very beginning, it really felt 90s with the music and the look. They did a really good job on that aspect, I thought. Uh, but anyway, now, uh, guys, like I was saying, if you guys enjoyed these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Now stay tuned for the brand new uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one I got here is from Shot Factory, Screen Factory line. This one is available for the first time on 4K. This is the uh, film Creep Show. This is one of those movies, though, that I have watched, the, you know, throughout the years uh, so many times, and I absolutely like I don't know what it is I always love anthology horror films and the thing is though yeah when it comes to anthology horror films like sometimes it's like not every one of the segments are equal to them you know like some segments are amazing and some are like oof the thing is when it comes to like you know creep show especially creep show 2 as well I felt like all the segments were great I and when it comes to creep show 2 I love the raft segment for the first film I think this segment I like the best it's like one of those things it's really hard to say because it's like I really love the Leslie Nielsen one like I, I feel like that's just like a really weird segment especially the music I really like but I I think sometimes I really like the crate for some reason for something about that crate one I really really like but if you guys have never seen it it's you know it's an anthology horror film one of the segments is like a weird family get together and another one is with uh, Stephen King is actually acting in it as a guy that touches this weird uh, meteorite that starts to spread to him and starts like spreading this weird moss all over his body uh, the other one is Leslie Nielsen and Ted Danson and like Leslie Nielsen doesn't like Ted Danson for one reason or another uh, and then the other one is a guy that has a weird obsession with clean cleanliness and gets uh, locked in this room with all these bugs it's, it's like I said it's a great movie if you guys have never seen this one 100% must watch especially if you guys have 4k to watch it for the first time on 4k this one has on here the brand new 2023 4k scan on here and then feature wise it has all three commentaries um, on the film they were on the first disc and then it has ripped from the pages interviews on here with the animator a look back on the restoration of the film a, a horrors holler ground with Sean Clark going and looking at the filming locations uh, radio spots, TV spots, uh, vintage marketing featurette, still galleries on this one here as well. Uh, the next one here, this one is from uh, Universal, and this is the um, you know the 4K Ultra HD edition here of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Like I said, this is one of the ones that came out today, but a lot of places had it out everywhere. You know, uh, last Tuesday for one reason or another. Like I literally saw like the market everywhere having it out. It was one of those things. There must have been some sort of a, a mix up on the date or, or something like that. Now I will say when it comes to the Mario Brothers, like, you know, this is done, you know, this film is done very much, you know, done in the style of the game and the way the characters look. And like, to me though, I grew up, I will tell you, watching the Super Mario Brothers live action movie with Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo and I, and, and Dennis Hopper. And I know there's a lot of people that like have never loved that movie or are people that are younger and watch it now and like, oh, what is, what is that? Like, but see, to me, like, I don't know what it is about that movie. That movie was such an inspiration to me when it comes to the style, the look, the clothes, everything. Thing. Like, I don't know. I just absolutely love that movie. I don't think I can tell you how many times I've watched it. So it's, you know, this is different because, like, I just, in my mind, never want to cancel that original live action one out because I just love that movie so much. So, like, I was kind of weird about this because I'm like, don't cancel that one out and make people forget about it because, to me, always will love it and it doesn't matter what people say about it. It's one of, it's one of those kind of things. But, you know, still, it's f fun if you guys are a fan of Mario and to see it kind of done, like I said, and done the way it is in the video game and the way the character is and everything like that as well. But this one has on here, though, getting to know the cast featurettes on here, uh, music video on here, uh, Peach's music video, uh, leadership lessons from Anna Taylor-Joy as well on this one. Uh, the next one here is from um, Lion's Gate, and this is the uh, 4K Ultra HD here of John Wick Chapter 4. And like I said, this one actually came out last Friday, and this is, I, I think at one point there was talk that this was going to be the last film in the John Wick series, but then from what I've heard, I think there's going to be at least one or two more in the series. It's one of those kind of things where I feel like John Wick will kind of never end, and I almost can imagine, too, this kind of a film, where since there's a lot of side characters, like, that you see in these films and kind of come back here and there, I almost feel like they could do, like, sort of spin-off type movies of, like, side characters. I used to do stuff like that. There was that one movie, um, when they made, like, the Get Smart remake, they had, like, the side characters in that, and they made their own movie. I don't know, they don't really do that stuff as much anymore, but I can almost imagine that, like, some of the side characters having their own story of, like, what they did and all that kind of stuff but 
this is basically now John Wick, and he's kind of to the point where he's running out of people that are on his side. It's kind of like he's burned all the bridges because of what he's done and kind of came after these people, and now it's kind of like it's very difficult to know who he can trust and he kind of comes after every kind of problem you can imagine you know really intense uh, crazy action films uh, if you guys have never seen these movies and like I said this has the 4k and the blu-ray of the film it has some featurettes on here on the, um, uh, the the stunts and behind the scenes on here as well as the theatrical trailer on here as well the next one here this is from Sony this is a really creepy movie this is um and I think it's one of the, I don't think that Russell Crowe has done too many horror films that I can think of. And this is the movie here called The um, the Pope's Exorcist here. And this was, like I said, very creepy uh, movie. And basically though, it's about like this family that ends up moving into this house and the one kid, something ends up happening and he ends up getting possessed. And Russell Crowe's character is the um, this exorcist who basically works for the Pope. And he kind of has like really high level of like, because he works for the Pope and he's like the Pope's exorcist, he kind of has more control and can kind of do things and kind of can, can even go over the church and other things that they say so it's kind of like he kind of goes in rogue to try and help this family and try and figure out how to you know stop this force that's taking over this kid it's a really crazy movie it goes in like lots of crazy directions it has on here though introducing father mass a uh, feature out on here and what possessed you a uh, feature out on this one here as well the other one here this is from uh wellgo uh usa here this is one called a uh, bone code this is a uh, basically though about a group of these soldiers who are going in if they're kind of going to, to look for a specific target out in the middle, it's kind of out in the middle of the snow, snowstorm that's going on. And essentially though, when they're out there, it's kind of like they see the guy, they're trying to follow this guy, but then they start to realize that there's something else out there following them. So it's some sort of a type of something. You don't know exactly what it is, but it's one of those type of things where they're looking for somebody and somebody's looking for them. And it, it takes these interesting turns here. This one has a making of on here, a blooper reel and a trailer. Uh, the next ones here, these are from uh, moviezing.com. And this is one that I, from the, uh, Warner Archive collection and this is a movie that I remember like as a little kid I rented this at the same time I was always renting the um, VHS's of like Care Bears and Care Bears 2 like I remember like this I was renting like Shard Duvall's Fairytale Theater back in the day at Blockbuster when they had like the the kids section I remember like so many things in there that I used to rent like George's Island and like Journey to Spirit Island like all these really specific things I was renting as a little kid and this is the um Hey there, it's Yogi Bear. And this is the Yogi Bear movie that was from 1964. And I remember like, as a little kid too, I was like obsessed with like Hanna-Barbera stuff. And I remember too, like when I went to Universal Studios Florida and they had the Hanna-Barbera ride, like I think they got rid of it a few years after I, f I first went there. But I remember like, being obsessed with that too that it was like it was this ride for Hanna Barbera and I always thought of these characters too and I don't know how to explain it as like strange like I always thought that even as a kid like any everything about like um, the Hanna Barbera characters always sort of seemed like Pee Wee's Playhouse type characters animated I don't know why I always thought that as a kid like out of all the animated type of characters a lot of the Hanna Barbera ones were always the weirder ones always had like weirder voices and all that type of stuff uh, the other one here and this is from uh, MovieZing.com as well. And I'll have a link below where you guys can order this one. It's also from Universal. And this is a show that aired on NBC. And I believe it aired from 2010 to 2014. I, I think it was 14 is when it ended. It, an, it ran, ran for uh, six seasons in a show called Parenthood here. And this one has on here, though, uh, it does have features on here, too. It has deleted scenes, commentary tracks from the page to the screen featurette, get to know your parents featurette, farewell, parenthood, retrospect and more and I'll show you guys though a look at the discs for this one here as well and I believe this is one that has never been available on blu-ray before I don't I don't believe so so here is season one here of the show and the um this had a great cast it has like Dax Shepard the one actor who was um from uh you know six feet under was on this show i had has this like i said this one has a commentary track deleted scenes behind the scenes and then season two here of the show that has uh deleted scenes commentaries and behind the scenes as well in this one and then season three of the show and that has deleted storyline on here deleted scenes and commentaries and then season four of the show and then uh season five and then uh, season six. And that one has a farewell retrospective uh, featurette on this one here uh, as well. And the next one I got here is from Second Sight Films. And this is the uh, 4K Ultra HD edition here of the film, The Changeling. Now I will say, you know, when it comes to like creepy films, 
This is probably, in my opinion, one of the top scariest movies of all time. There's something about this, too. I don't know what it is. And I feel like, too, there's a, a sequence in here with a well that I feel like really, really had a lot of inspiration for the look of the Ring, you know, remake. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it kind of, I feel like it really had inspiration for that as well. But this is basically about this guy whose family had ended up dying in this car accident in front of him. And basically, he now has moved into this house. And it's kind of like he starts to hear things things and hearing things and like seeing things it's all sorts of really weird things that go on but it, it is incredibly terrifying like it's one of those movies that like people say oh yes yeah, you know people talk about this being scary but no it is really really very creepy all around this has on here though a brand new 4k scan on here it has a commentary track on here with the director it has on here though the music of the conjuring on here interview on here with the composer i mean no, sorry the music arranger interview on here with the art director on here as well uh, the next one here this is another 4k ultra hd release here this is from blue underground this is a great uh, vampire movie and when it comes to like vampire movies too that I, I feel like had inspiration for so many like with the stylistic like the look of this and the music and everything this one definitely i feel like inspired a lot of vampire movies that came after this one especially ones like um uh the what was the one that that had um david bowie in it that one the was it um hunger i feel like this definitely had a degree of inspiration to that film it's a movie here like i said called daughters of da daughters of darkness and it's one of those ones too that all takes place at this kind of weird hotel out in the middle of nowhere and it's like it's a really interesting movie it has on here though a commentary track on here um locations on here interview uh, locations you know looking at the locations of the film uh interviews with some of the stars, the actual trailer, radio spots, alternate US titles, and a poster and still, still gallery on this one. The next one here, this one is from SRS Cinema. This is one that I want to let you guys know that was available. And this is one here called Bedridden. And this is basically though, it's basically though about this, um, uh, you know, um, one guy whose wife ends up getting killed in this motel room and it's basically though after this happens he kind of is like really need really wants to talk to his wife again and after all this had happened so he ends up getting a Ouija board to try and make contact with his wife and it's one of those kind of things where you know anytime you mess with Ouija boards things go really wrong and things go really wrong for him and it becomes a whole living nightmare for him when he messes with this Ouija board this one has on here a commentary track a documentary a composer documentary it has a deleted scenes on here trailer and and uh, trailers for other SRS Cinema releases as well. The next ones here, these are both from Mondo Macabro, the ones I want to let you guys know are available. This is one here called The Witch's Mountain. Here, and this one has two interviews on here with um, with the what actor John Kingarger, John Garafi, as a documentary on here in the making of the film on this one here as well. The other one is one here called Dr. Caligari. And I remember this cover really well. And I remember like seeing this, I can't not remember where I saw this, but I definitely remember this. This has the brand new 4K scan on here. And it has on here though, um, the full frame and theatrical uh, and uh, uh, the widescreen version of the film. Uh, it also has on here isolated music and effects track version, has a comedy track on here with the director as well on this one. And the next one here, this is from uh, Kino Larber. This is one I wanted you guys to know was available. This is a Charles Bronson film called The White Buffalo. This is a film that was from 1977 here. And this one has a commentary track on here with film historian Paul Talbot, author of Bronson's Loose uh, book, as well as theatrical trailer and TV spots on this one here as well. And, like, and this is from the uh, Kino Larber uh, Studio uh, Classics line here. And the next ones, these are from... Uh, from uh, Mill Creek that I want to let you guys know were available. And this is the uh, Ultraman Battle Keju uh, Series 1 here. Ultraman vs. Red 16 episode collection on here. And like I said, one of the guys know that this one was available from uh, Mill Creek. The other one here that's available from Mill Creek as well as the show uh, The Event. This one is available. And this one has on here the making of the event featurette, uh, Dr. Dempsey's alternate storyline, deleted scenes, episode commentaries on here as well on this one. And the other one here as well to let you guys know uh, that was available from uh, Mill Creek was one here, a film here called Southern Gospel. And like I said, just want you guys to know that this one was available uh, from Mill Creek as well. And then this one here is from uh, from Radiance. And it's a film uh, called The Iron Perfect. And like I said, one of the guys know that this one was available and this one has the brand new 2K restoration on here as well for this one. 
And the last one to let you guys know that was available uh, from uh, Wild Eye Releasing. And this is one that I have a, a small part in. It's a movie here called Demonoids from Hell. It's kind of like a Critters type of ghoulies type film. And I'm kind of the weird next door neighbor here, you know, in the film that gets attacked uh, by the, the demonoids and stuff. And like I said, just want to guys know, let you guys know that this one uh, was available from uh, Wild Eye Releasing. Anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.